Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com, and welcome to this Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial, which where the idea is to have a Photoshop tutorial in 30 seconds or less. It almost never happens that way, and they always run longer. But following up and continuing a week of the boring tools in Photoshop, we're going to talk about the count tool, which it does exactly what you may well imagine. When you click, it drops a number. There's one firework there, two fireworks there, three fireworks there, four, five, six, seven, eight fireworks there. What's this tool used for? Well, we'll cover that in a second. Here's something you can do. You can rename or create multiple groups for um, for your numberings. So let's say I want to do like fireworks uh, as one group name, right? And in this group, I right now can look and see that I have eight counters, but I have zero in this group. All of my counters right now are in count group one, which we could just call this one like you know, red stuff or something because it's the red stuff. Um, but if we want to add some stuff to fireworks, we can go down to some of these like brighter fireworks and add some numbers there. Now these counters are blending in, so maybe we need to change this to like a very rich blue and hit OK. And you can see just those in this fireworks group are this bright blue. It's re still really difficult to see them. Uh, but we can keep counting and adding stuff like that. Um, that's the count tool. You can change the marker size, which is basically going to change the number size, right? You can see the number, or I'm sorry, the marker is the actual dot. Uh, the label size, this is the number. We can change that to make the numbers much, much larger. Uh, so a lot of different things you can do with the count tool as far as actually dropping numbers and sizing dots and things like that. Um, here's when I find this to be useful. If you're looking over a, uh, like a web layout or something with a bunch of colleagues or a client, or even a photo, it's very easy to point to a portion of the image instead of saying, hey, the firework that's like third from the top, uh, or I'm sorry, third from the left, but like not not at all third from the top. There's nothing between it and the top. With the count tool, you can just say, hey, the firework right there on dot number two, and then boom, people can see, and you can, hey, we should change the color of that to purple or whatever. I don't know. That's where I find the count tool to be useful, where you need to refer to like a specific part of an image with colleagues or students or a client that you're working with. The count tool can make it very easy to do stuff like that. So that's it. The count tool in Photoshop. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.